I know exactly three things about Danbury. USA Today ranked it the second best city to live in in 2015. It was once the center of the American hat industry. And if you're from there, you got a standing invite to come get a thrashing from John Oliver. Behind me, you'll see the city of Danbury sewer plant. And we are gonna rename it the John Oliver Memorial Sewer Plan. Why? Because it's full of <laughs> just like you, John. Last week, we brought you the official news that Danbury put it to a vote and the city council made it official. Danbury sewer plant is going to be renamed after HBO's Last Week Tonight host, John Oliver. And now we're hearing Oliver is going to go to Danbury to be there for the grand opening. So joining more to talk about this friendly little feud that has wound up being a win-win for everybody. we got Danbury's mayor, Mark Boughton, on the phone again. Mayor, good morning to you. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, glad to have you on again. So uh, do we know, uh, my understanding is it's not necessarily going to be a public ceremony because of COVID, but when is Mr. Oliver coming? Do we have a date set? Not yet. We're still negotiating uh, when exactly he'll be here, but it will be sooner rather than later. Um, and you're absolutely right. They're on a very time, tight schedule and tight timeline. So um, he'll, he'll be kind of whisked in and whisked out, yeah. cut the ribbon and say a few words and go from there. Oh, that's it? You're not going to go out for a beer? <laughs> Or maybe we'll hug it out. I'm not sure yet. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, he's been incredibly gracious. And, uh, yeah. you know, as you mentioned, we raise a ton of money for local charities to feed people this uh, holiday season. Yeah. How much are you up to now? Uh, we're going to be, we've just crossed the $100,000 threshold and we're uh, continuing upward. Our goal is $200,000. That is fantastic. So uh, w is there anything you're planning on doing for the ceremony itself to roll out the red carpet? W would it be a red carpet in this case? Different different color? Well, no, yeah, 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 red will work just fine. So we'll <laughs> probably do that. Yeah, we've got a little uh, stand that we're going to build for him. He's got the, he's bringing the sign. So we'll uh, be able to install the sign for him as well as a viewing area where you can look out and see all the majesty of our waste treatment plant. By the way, one thing I wanted to ask you in the video you made, somebody made the decision to have you start by coming right out of a porto potty without really mentioning much of it. it, it that was a little stroke of genius. Whose idea was that? Well, it was mine, of course. This is what you pay me for, to sit around and think of things. Yes, this is true. <laughs> uh, what, else, uh, what else are you hearing from people in Danbury about this? I mean, are they excited that he's coming? Granted, they're not really going to get the chance to meet him and shake his hand, but it's still good for Yeah, I mean, they're just, they're, they're, you know, look, they're, A, they're excited that it's a good distraction, a good diversion from COVID-19 and, and, you know, how do you handle the schools and how do you handle our businesses and all that stuff. People need a good laugh right now. It's been such a difficult year and, and frankly, such a heated uh, election season as well. So this is a good way, you know, to kind of distract yourself and, and have a good chuckle. And then on top of that, people are uh, impressed and are taking advantage of of being able to donate directly to our food pantries to feed people over Thanksgiving. In fact, I am giving tours for $500, yeah. private tours of the John Oliver Memorial sewer plant after it's been christened for any individual family or uh, person that would like to donate to our food pantry. You mentioned that before. That's a real thing. Really? 500 bucks? You get a personal I've tour? already got four families that have taken advantage of it. Get out of here. Yeah. That's amazing. Do they have to bring their own mask, or, or at this point, would it be like bring a respirator just to be able respirator to Respirator is recommended, although I do have them, and the, I have the good ones, the KN95s and all that stuff, so we're ready to go. You should probably have some scented candles and uh, some free dry cleaning to go along with that, too. <laughs> after the time. All right, Mayor, thank you so much for joining us again. We'll be sure we're there for the unveiling.